Hello everyone. Uh, I'd like to put together a little video tour of my home theater. It's uh, about 99% complete. So I figured it was uh, finished enough to at least do a video on. So I'm going to start in the foyer area. This is just some decorations, wall decorations that, you know, playing around with, trying to figure out where and how to add some accessories to the foyer area. Uh, this door needs to be painted and finished. The molding needs to be put around it. This is the door to the outside. But this door is going to get covered with a, uh, a nice, I'll keep that a secret. I'll show you a little later what I'm working on. Uh, so those loop, those grooves in there are going to be covered. The whole door panel is going to be covered and nicely painted. Uh, this is the concession area. This is a the popcorn machine. Uh, I bought it from um, Sam's. Had a nice little cart, little vintage looking cart. And uh, as you can see, we was using it recently. Uh, this is the actual audio room separate from the theater uh, I put this concession stand in here uh, only reason I did is because I have grandkids and I would hate for them to get in there and eat the whole thing in one day so I put it and I have a lock on the door where I can lock them out I open it up when they're here so they can have it have access to it I'm gonna eventually put the popcorn machine in here I believe if I have a room uh, this is a DIY a audio cabinet that I made I uh, I'm st I don't have the equipment the electronic equipment that I want to have so instead of buying the panels the metal fill-in blanks I just made a wood fill-in until you know I kind of get this thing like I want it I'd hate to keep buying panels blanks then getting rid of them and then have to reconfigure make it fit so I just decided to cut some wood the uh the thin plywood and put it in to fill it up the reason i had to do that is because if you want your fans to properly draft you have to have it filled in uh i have a uh uh ac infinity fan pretty good fan up top that uh, has a probe in it that keeps the temperature at whatever well one you every whatever temperature you set it at so i'm planning on dressing this up in the future when i get some more uh amps and, and and all the other electronics i want to get this is my cabinet i put in here uh this is going to house you know all your little knickknacks accessories uh maybe make it into a bar i don't know uh put some liquor on it or whatever uh i'm still working at it so uh concession uh that's made out of pegboard as you can see i trimmed it and just bought the hangers I uh, saw this idea on the internet. Some people did this before. Uh, I'm eventually going to go back and paint those pegs, uh, those metal pegs black, but didn't feel like doing it at the time. So I will later. But uh, all the candy was bought from uh, the local CVS and Walgreens. They're like a dollar a box or whatever. So um, all your. Uh, the typical candy you will find at uh, some of it at the theaters that are five, six dollars a box. It was a dollar. All right. This is my little Darth Vader. I'm struggling with a, uh, you know, how to, how to um, decorate the room. To do it like I want to, you know, you're looking at a lot of money for the life size Darth Vader's and all the life size and huge pieces of, of Star Wars. Uh, pieces but I don't know maybe in the future I, I've got more important things to spend that type of money on right now so um hey wait a minute my dark Vader He's, there he is He's, Pretty cool. I forgot where I found that at. So, anyway, let's go into the theater. Uh, got this nice uh, 
door hanger. I found pretty cool. This, what I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I'm planning on doing with this. this uh, I saw some 3D hand solo carbonite freezes uh, door panels. And I plan on putting, making this door into a giant uh, uh, carbonite freeze with hand solo in it. It's gonna be 3D. Uh, I'm gonna find, you know, the right company to buy from. So many people false advertise. Just trying to take my time. I've been burnt on a couple things already. The, uh, the Mandalorian helmet. Uh, so beware that is not what 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 this was going around the internet. Facebook looks real good on the advertisement. You order it, it's not even close, fellas. So don't even waste your money on it. I did a video on that earlier and I uh, posted it to uh, one of the home theater sites. But uh, that's what I plan on doing to this door. Um, as you enter the room, you will see got my nice great carpet put in by um, Mr. Kennett and his helper uh, they helped me put it in this is my DIY screen uh, I made this screen out of the uh, uh, spandex material it is a hundred and fifty inch screen 16 by 9 aspect ratio uh, the inside of the door is painted black okay so this is the switch that I have it is a uh, remote I'm gonna show you the light modes that I have okay so I have the main room lights I have the screen lights on this controller and then I also have mood lights behind my dropped molding turn the lights back on to show you the molding well I don't guess you can see it but trust me it's there I decided to go with the black room because it's a uh, it was just easier for uh, visual properties, but uh, the screen looks really good for uh, being a DIY, uh, a DIY um, project. All right, so um, um, turn the lights back on. I, the acoustic, the acoustical panels that I made. All right, first off, this down at the bottom is not an acoustical panel. Is where my subwoofer is. I put it in. There was another adjacent room back there, so I cut a hole, put it in there. I know it's not the optimum placement, but it sounds good enough. And along with that subwoofer, each chair has a bass shaker in it. I have eight chairs of, uh, made by Southern Motion, and I put a bass shaker in each chair. So each chair has a bass shaker. So what this. The whole purpose of a subwoofer is to recreate uh, uh, physical, um, well, how do I want to say, just just some some uh, shit. I'm tongue tied. Pressure to create vibration. All right. So, and that's where the body feels the sensation of the bass. So, uh, instead of you know getting your big 18s and your 24 and running it. You know, 2,000 watts where the the um, neighbors, you can annoy the neighbors. I just decided to put this 12 inch in here and try some bass shakers in it to see if I can recreate that sensation of a huge subwoofer. Uh, personally, I find it fine. It feels good. I don't feel the need to drive it or have one bigger or even run duels just yet. Now, maybe my, my, my senses are changed, but right now I'm fine. So what you see is I have, I did the DIY uh, acoustical panels. It's, it's a, a frame uh, with, with acoustical, um, acoustical insulation behind it. I have some pictures of where I did, I'll post it later. So I have eight wall hangers. Got this one turned behind me that's uh, directly in front of the center channel. I got these three on this side, and there is actually one in the, in the, I don't know if you can see it, but it's in the ceiling. Let me see if I can get a good shot of it. It is in the ceiling. I guess that's the best I can get with it. Get with the lighting here, the lighting is poor uh, for filming. So it's right there to catch that center channel refraction off the wall. All right, the carpet handles the refraction off the floor. 
Um, I didn't think that would make a big difference, but it did in the sound of the room. All this down here is going to get cleaned up. I'm going to do it a little later and tuck them in and hide it. But I am running a 7.2.4 system. I know everybody says it's a waste, but uh, for the little extra money to be prepared in case the technology, you know, uh, 7.4. 7.2.4, you know, a lot of your sources are not, they're, they're still being recorded in 5.1, 5 .5 but uh, I just wanted to be prepared in case it does become the more prominent uh, format. I don't have to do too much to change it. So uh, here it is, my home theater in a nutshell. Um, these risers are, t uh, I want to say, 14 inches tall above the floor. Uh, uh, me and my godson, we built this whole theater room from scratch. It was a carport that we decided to close in, and we did it right. We raised the, the elevation so it was level with the house uh, foundation, and uh, we built this nice home theater. We're really enjoying it. Uh, everybody, of course, everybody wants to hold everything over here now. Uh, from Super Bowl parties to uh, to just uh, book reading. Um, book reading uh, parties with my wife. So, um, here it is. Hope y'all enjoy. Oh, the, oh, I forgot. The... The uh, projector that I'm running is a Epson uh, 6040 Pro Cinema. Pro uh, I think that's the model number. But uh, I'm not one of those real, um, you know, high-end, fancy prima donna person that got to have the latest and the greatest of everything if it puts out a good picture and puts out a good sound i'm i'm fine with it like my in walls are pokes uh the the in wall series from pokes um i know there's some better stuff a lot better stuff but in this room by itself on a movie it sounds great yes there's some better sounding stuff but unless i had it right side this right along these speakers and playing the same source Switching back and forth, you can't tell the difference. The same thing with the television resolution. Unless you had the television or the projector right side one another one another and show and say, hey, yeah, this one is better than that one, you can't tell the difference. So get one that's adequate, one that you can uh uh afford. I mean, I'm not suggesting the bottom line one, but I'm not suggesting your thirty, forty thousand dollar uh projectors also. Get the one you can afford, the one that you can uh, that you can comfortably afford because the worst thing you can do is go into debt over a theater. You can't really enjoy it because you owe so much money because you finance and you've done this and you've done that to even get, just get what you can afford, the best you can afford and enjoy it. It took me three years to get everything together. It took me two years, a year and a half I was purchasing. These seats are very expensive. To me, they are very expensive. And, uh, I, it took me a year to get these and pay for them. I kept them boxed up in storage until I was able to get it. So the one thing I said, I wanted to get some very good furniture because I don't want to have to change our furniture. It's going to get used. So I don't want to have to change our furniture every two years, you know. So I got some very, very good seats. And uh, like I said, it took me a year to get these out of the way, get them paid for, working extra and get them paid for. I kept them in storage in a room we had here in the house, stacked up in the house. So then took me a uh, I mean, I worked a little over time and I got the, 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 the projector. So just take your time. Don't get in a rush unless you got the money to do it. If you got the money to do it, go ahead and knock it out. But uh, um, I would suggest take your time. Uh, get what you want or close to what you want up front so you don't have to go back and redo everything. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Um and uh oh and just to, uh, for another uh just for more information this is all a rebuild we recover from a flood this 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 theater was it was here 
this room was here, but it was not it was not like this. It was just more like a den. So we decided to go full full bore theater this time. So uh hope you enjoy it. Hope it inspires you. I got my ideas from a lot of guys on uh on the net through the through the forums and everything and hope this gives you guys some ideas.